Hello, my friends, and thank you for joining me. Let's spend a few moments with our Good Shepherd, Jesus. I read from 1 John chapter 1, verse 7. But if we walk in the light, just as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanses us from all sin. I'm kind of a science nerd. I find science an amazing study of God's creative genius. He made things that he has been enjoying for thousands of years, but which we're only now discovering. One of the fascinating things God made were creatures that live in total darkness. Some live in caves and don't have any eyes since they don't need them. They have long feelers to find their way around. Others live in the deepest oceans and use echolocation or produce their own light. It's astounding that God made creatures that don't need light to live. But that's not us. Did you realize that a baby at 16 weeks of pregnancy becomes sensitive to light? I'm in awe that our bodies and our minds have been created to begin perceiving light and distinguishing it from darkness at just 16 weeks of gestation. This perception will only continue to get stronger, not just as they continue to develop from birth, but also as they continue to grow in this world, where the difference between light and darkness is so evident. A question that comes to mind from today's scripture is how do we see light when all we feel is darkness? Whether we look around at the world or even are facing darkness in our own life, how can we see light? We just need to look at God. Our reading says God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. The unfolding of God's word let light into our lives. God's grace in Jesus is the light of our salvation. God's love is the light of fellowship, which encourages us. God's plan is the light for my path. The darkness of the world is not God. No matter how overwhelming or overbearing it may feel, if we get stuck in darkness, we miss opportunities to see God's glimmer of light where God is working and on the move. We don't produce our own light like some ocean creatures, yet we don't have to feel our way through life like cave dwellers. We have the light of God shining. Turn your eyes toward his light and see clearly. We pray together. Lord, you are my light and my salvation. Illumine my life that I may see clearly to follow you to the joys of heaven. Amen. Well, my friends, be, know that the light of God is shining brightly. Be sure of his love for you.